Hello guys, um, today I want to lecture you on uh, the subject you very like, I think uh, it's traps. So um, uh, normally it's, um, you see that uh, like Eric Rosen or someone else uh, just has this trap um, or I don't know, your favorite uh, streamer or whatever just uh, plays against an amateur complete uh, uh, beginner and gives him like this uh, trap which he doesn't aware of, which he's not aware of and uh, immediately so wins this this could be from this um, staffer gambit or some kind of um, which is opposite to the legal mate and things like that so um, but uh, it seems that sometimes uh, grandmasters try to trap each other when they play against each other and um, in the opening um, you know to win quickly and uh, obviously um, it appears that it's not that easy to cope with uh, your chess is not that you know all the stuff you have to be like very aware of what's going on and feel that something is fishy, something is not right, and uh, try to, you know, find what's uh, all about. So, um, of course, uh, not, not a game can be <coughs> lost without a mistake. Uh, sometimes we made a mistake on our own when the position doesn't, uh, uh, is not like very difficult and you don't um, have to make it, but you do it like voluntarily and you lose the game. That's very common. But uh, sometimes you get provoked yeah, in the sense that um, you shown some advantageous move uh, which uh, might give you some b uh, benefit and uh, which looks attractive and uh, you make this move and immediately there is a counter move you didn't see and you lose. So this is uh, a trap. So sometimes some traps are good, sometimes are not so good. Some are very apparent, some are not. So um, it's not that uh, black and white that you just learn some order of moves and um, chess is not that easy. Yeah, you just have to follow some pattern and uh, see that what opponents does against. Um, I mean, propose something and if. Uh, you're lucky maybe he will get into this trap but um, uh, it's not really going to be that easy if as uh, some grandmasters or not grandmasters think all right so <clears throat> i found some games uh, you can check them out uh, i i think that um, on uh, chess base you can find only first game but uh, if you very, if you need, you can check the Lichas uh, link and check the games uh, from my Lichas account. All right, so let's get moving. And uh, the first game is between Zugertort and Anderson, who has been uh, like um, an official world champion for some time, as they say. And they played lots of games, lots of matches. These two players, Zugertort was very good, I think. And he played this system, which they, uh, if you are a D4 player, uh, you can consider. Um, um, he plays like D4, C4, B3, E3. And this is like Grandmaster level play of today. So he was very good as well. All right, so let's go. E4. <coughs> Zuckerberg played uh, E4 as well, apparently. E5, F4. Uh, standard for the 19th century, King's Gambit, takes, Knight A3, G5, this is what I've been playing when I played the E5, E5, Bishop C4, G4, this is what I wouldn't play, I play something like Bishop to G7, but okay, uh, and Zuckertort Castle, so he wants, uh, you know, uh, to give this uh, Knight, uh, take with the Queen, and uh, attack the f7 pawn. Uh, well, it's a good plan. And Zuckertort played the trapping move. He played <coughs> uh, queen 
to e7 <clears throat> with the idea uh, to play queen to c5 and give check and take the uh, take the piece so if uh, um, let's say I'd be playing uh, I might just play king to h1 and at this point uh, 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 white, uh, black can take the, the knight and they are much better the engine shows a big big advantage but uh, um, Zucker thought uh, calculated that he can uh, allow this trap and uh, if he is uh, you know uh, like uh, fell into it then it's much better because okay let's make this move queen c5 d4 queen c5 and knight d5 so uh, uh, black captured this uh, uh, strong bishop light square bishop which attacks f7 but with this uh, knight here uh, white has developed all the pieces and they will take this pawn as well and just engine shows that every move when every like plus seven at every move for white here so this trap didn't work out so he took the the knight and d4 d6 uh, developing move knight to d5 queen d7 uh, well something went totally wrong for black in this position because um, you know uh, if you do moves like this um, then you're in big trouble probably he wanted some um, okay he can pl play queen to g4 because c7 is hanging but um, uh, he didn't want to play queen to d8 what i would play either okay so takes knight c6 takes um, white has a huge advantage and attacks the f7 so uh, anderson played uh, knight to d8 and uh, queen g7 uh, queen g3 so now uh, white is actually trapping if black makes a mistake then white will lose so f6 trying to you know make some uh, make something out of nothing and in this position uh white won with queen takes g8 so takes check royal fork for everything so he takes the rook first goes back and after uh, uh, bishop g5 black resigned because they just totally losing so uh, you see that um, anderson tried to trap open it but uh, uh was I'm, I'm not saying he was ready but uh, for this particular trap but he figured out on board that uh, there is something going on that uh, the the opponent didn't take the the knight as it was played before so he has something on his mind and he understood that just uh, he has to play on and uh, so he won all right so let's go to game number two these are uh, uh, two um, uh, so white is played by Hassan who became a, a grandmaster and black is played by uh, Lilienthal from Hungary he was a strong player in the 30s um, probably about 10th 15th in the world <clears throat> so has uh, so Lilienthal plays black knight c6 d4 the scotch a scotch game and d4 this is played <clears throat> every game on the internet so if you want you know to uh, um, progress with your game i recommend play scotch because uh, against the scotch every player plays this system today um, bishop e3 i played knight to b3 this position but uh, bishop e3 is fine of course uh, queen f6 c3 knight e7 this is very standard uh, position i think um, that um, black uh, reaches this position with bishop b4 
for check, then white plays c3 and bishop goes back to c5. So very similar idea at least. Bishop c4, knight d5, bishop e2, and d5. So <clears throat> uh, in this position, black attacks the e4 pawn. Uh, the idea, um, okay, so if, uh, let's say, white defends this pawn, they, let's say, take, then it's knight takes d5, and it appears that black is winning. So uh, very big advantage, they attack all the center, they have uh, better development, this pawn is bad, uh, knight here is not developed, so, uh, so very nice move. And uh, white played ca uh, castles. So white sacrifice a pawn. Um, I'm not saying that it's a trap, but it doesn't look really uh, that bad. So you can just take it. And the idea of white was if black takes, then to play knight to d2, attacking this pawn on d5. So uh, you can play bishop to f5 for instance because knight takes and you lose your knight on uh, bishop on c5 so queen to g6 just like nothing happens and in this position bishop to h5 so attacking the queen and uh, suddenly all pieces of white are developed they play it uh, they have castled and uh, all pieces of black are extremely weak. So this is a big trap. If you play, for instance, queen b6, then it's b4, takes, takes. Uh, okay, let's play, uh, I don't know, queen to d6. Then um, uh, knight takes c4, again attacking. If uh, queen uh, to e6, then Rook e1, and this pressure is just overwhelming. Uh, just uh, I'll show you one variation which uh, uh, a white player missed. So in this position, uh, black would bail out with knight f3, but it's very, very hard move to spot actually. Yeah, that you just there are so many pieces attacking the square, and um, uh, still uh, it's the best move here. But uh, they, they missed it in analysis, that's totally fine. So what happened next? So he played castles and black played h5. Uh, they were also trapping. They, they hope for f4 and knight to g4 uh, and black has big advantage. So uh, every move is like a provocation to play something. But h5 is not the best move. Knight b5, followed um, bishop, uh, queen to b6, takes, takes, and in this position, very simple move, queen to d5, attacking the knight and the queen, if queen takes, takes, and uh, Knight is attacked and pawn on c7 is attacked. So white wins material. All right. So uh, we see that white player trap tried to trap uh, black, and uh, black also like made a provoking move with h5, uh, provoking the f4, and uh, it appears that white was a little bit better and won. So. Uh, um, when you trap, the opponent can trap you. That's a, <laughs> that's a, that's a law. And uh, all right. And the last game I'll show you between these uh, two young players. This is not, of course, the, uh, just uh, some kind of illustration for um, uh, playing um, uh, you know, um, very standardly for white. So takes, uh, so this is the French defense, the advanced French and f4. So um, this is a mistake, uh, but I see a lot of players play like this on the internet. I really don't like this move and I actually don't understand like, 
the commentator said that uh, this protects C5, but um, I don't know. It's uh, it serves uh, F2 serves protection for the king, and it's important even in French defense. So uh, doesn't look a good move to me. So Black played very good. They played knight to h6, which for uh, this is a 1938, and uh, for 1938 this is an excellent move, I think, because. Um, Black just shows that he understands uh, uh, the logic of chess that you can block your bishop on c8 and knight here is actually good he can go to f5 can go to g4 so good move bishop d3 of course uh, white is sets a trap themselves like very classical trap you know uh, in chess to take this uh, with the queen and bishop to b5 discovery winning the queen so white is uh, trapping so, a little bit so black played a queen uh, bishop d7 which is a very good move um, uh, bishop c2 protecting rook c8 uh, black knows that they have this uh, decision to take on d4 so they will definitely need the rook on c file and they don't rush with the castling because in this position the center is closed and you don't have to be very quick about castling in, uh, today um, uh, in many instances black just will keep the this king in the center because white actually harder to attack it in the center than on the king side so b3, a mistake, uh, which leads to a very nice win. Takes, takes, uh, knight to b4, attacking the bishop, knight f3, and uh, queen to c7. So the bishop is attacked, and inevitably queen to c3 is also a big threat. Uh, so white tried to uh, trap black, and black at this time just developed the pieces uh, didn't fall for this trap and it appeared that uh, white just lost some tempi and lost all right uh, hope that helps and uh, please uh, subscribe uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, write in the comments whether you like this video or not all right thank you very much and see you next time